is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is July 22nd, 2024. I hope this video goes forth unto you guys because I've been having a lot of problems with this Filmora recording. So I will try to bring this word forth because it's a very urgent, urgent, urgent word. Let us pray before all these things. Dear Holy Father, Lord Jesus, I come before you, precious God, to thank you for your love, mercy, and your grace, to thank you for another day of life you have blessed us all with, Father God. Yes, Lord, we are very, very, very excited to see you very, very, very soon. Father, we are doing our very best to hold on like you told us to, to hang on to your precious holy word, to hang on your righteous right arm, to hang on to you, Jesus. Father, we see the things that you told us in Matthew 24, in Revelation 3, for, Father, we are ready, waiting, and watching as your bride and as the body of Christ. Lord, we are hanging on, being very patient, very stern to people, speaking the truth, trying to bring them into the kingdom of heaven. Father, we see the day approaching. Help us to do our very best for your honor and your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Bless my brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world. Give them the strength to continue running this race. Give them the strength to keep their crowns. As you told me, let no one take thy crown. I ask in your name, Jesus, for no one to take their crowns. I love you. I adore you. I appreciate you, almighty God, forever and ever and ever. Amen. The word is understanding. I gave unto you words of understanding and knowing and knowing my beloved. I am the Alpha, the Omega, and I give unto ye the words of knowledge, for ye shall need them during the days to come. It will not be easy, but you shall have my understanding, wisdom, and knowledge to make it through. This storm shall shake the world, my beloved, and if ye are not in me or I in you, you shall not survive this storm. Like the first one, he sur you survived because you were deeply grounded in me. But ye must continue in my word daily, for my word is your strength, power, and authority in this evil and corrupted world. Only can ye stand strong if ye are deeply rooted in my word. My beloved bride and body, only the strong shall survive this storm coming. The weak and the lukewarm shall not, and those who think they can, sh can shall not. I say my word, I am going to shake the heavens and the earth this time, and all that are in me shall, all that are not in me shall fall. 
love Yeshua HaMashiach, your Heavenly Father and Bridegroom. You heard what he said. All who are not in him shall not stand. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are going to see many things before he comes and raptures us, harpazos, catches up, but it's coming quickly, it's coming quickly, it's coming quickly, for he said that he is on his way. Many brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus throughout the whole world are being being given dreams and visions of us leaving this planet very soon. So trust in Him. Trust in Him always. No matter what the world is going through, trust in Him. For he will never leave us nor forsake us. He will be with us to the very end. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I know that all of you are tired of this life, of this world. You are tired of being here. You want to go home, just like I do. But we were called for such a time as this. And let us fulfill our calling. Shalom. Be blessed. And we are out of here. See you in the air, brothers and sisters in Christ. See you in the air. In our heavenly home. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Time 352. Spoken by the Holy Trinity. Brothers and sisters in Christ, for you know that there is a scripture that says that he will shake the heaven, the heavens and the earth. For his word is his word. I ask that you pray about this and ask him, truly ask him, if he did not give me this message. Shalom, be blessed. See you in heaven. The most truth and common understanding of the Word of God, concerning the things that are written about the Bride of Christ Jesus, to the awakening of our minds, revealing the truth to all and to those that are willing to receive the truth, of the hidden things that the physical mind cannot acknowledge, but by help of the understandings of the spiritual knowledge of God, as He granted wisdom, to those that seeks to know, for the Spirit God reveals secret things, through the meditation of the Word of God, when we go deeper into the Word. It brings out the light and open our eyes to see in the way of the Spirit. The mystery of God concerning the two witnesses and their deaths many do not know this event as a spiritual warfare. Between the beast and the two witnesses this battle also includes the people of God. If you read the book of Revelation 11, 1-14 it talks about many things that took place in this verse. The two olive trees which you know as the two witnesses of God, who stand, against the kingdom, of darkness. It is so clear to know this is a spiritual battles between God anointed chosen prophet. The bride was is Elijah in the Bible who called down fire from heaven. She is also Joseph who dream about the eleven stars the moon and sun that bow down to him. Because God is the God of all flesh. He is able to send his servant to be a man or a woman. This is a mystery not everyone will understand the secret of God. 2 King 2, 11. Genesis 37 verse 9. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Matthew 11 verse 12. 
There is a special assignment given to each and every one of us, God dwell among us he is not far from us, because the Helper is here on earth, so also the Spirit of God, for God is a Spirit, and we are God witness, because God gives light to us through his Spirit and by the help of the Holy Spirit of God, whose Jesus has sent to earth for our sake is one of the reasons Jesus is coming again and also to take his children back home. The work of the Holy Spirit is spiritual even though she has an earthly body God always takes her in the Spirit to carry out her assignment here on earth she is with us. She lives among us, hidden from the eyes of the world she see all that is going on in the world, she waiting for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even though the world hate her God love her, God grace is upon her to carry on until the end of time, she will not see death for those that try to kill her fail so many times. The world is against her because she bear the light they see her glory and they persecute her but God has hidden her until all that written about her is fulfilled she know she must remains hidden from the eyes of world. For those who tread upon her the holy city the new Jerusalem are the Gentiles as it is written Revelation 11, 1-2. Those that committed sin won't they know between good and evil? In Revelation 21 verse 2 describe the glory of the bride as God sent her from heaven down to earth. And I John saw the holy city. New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven prepare as a bride adorned for her. Husband. When Jesus returned to take his bride home then this earth shall pass away. For there is a new earth and heaven awaiting for us for God has made all things new and the wicked shall not be there. This world shall be destroyed along with the falling angels God cast down from heaven on earth the unrepentant. Revelation 21 verse 3 And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying Behold, 